Whippy Watchco is a micro brand based in Canada that makes some pretty nice watches. I reviewed a beautiful chronograph of theirs last year, and today I'm really excited to show you their new diver. Well, it's a cold, snowy day here in Canada, and I'm excited because I am headed to the post office to grab a new Whitby Watch Company watch for review. So, let's go get it. It's a big one. Okay, Whitby Watch Co., you've got my curiosity peaked. Two boxes in this big box. What's going on? I know there's a hard case in this. Maybe it's empty. All right, let's start with the smaller package and see what's in here. It's heavy. There is a lot of bubble wrap. Oh, this watch, I can already tell, is weighty. There we go. I wonder if it's just an empty case. Or if they ship me a couple colorways. Oh man, check that out. That is nice. Very, very nice. Very solid. I like that. We've got a, I want to say a silver dial. It can read as white. It can read as silver really depends and i honestly i don't even know what's in it but man it's buttery smooth it's got to be a swiss movement that feels swiss okay. oh yep yeah. sw200 there we go called it that's what i was thinking feels like one very nice pull it all the way get these hands out of the way Yeah, that's nice. So it's kind of interesting because they've got these double markers at the 12, 3, 6, and 9, and then single at the others. That's that's a neat take on that. You don't see that too often. An angled rehote with the 60-minute numbers around in orange, and that orange seconds hand, and then, oh, of course, Swiss movement. Right there at the bottom, 200 meters. And this thing is clean. I like it. It's got a bit of a Seiko Samurai type lug to it. There's some thick gaskets in here. You can feel it when you, when you screw it in. Seiko Samurai, a bit, a bit. Not an exact copy for sure, especially from the profile, but that real turn down to it. Drilled lugs, beefy. Beefy, nice strap. Looks good. Three micro adjusts, so not a lot there. No slide lock or anything like that. Simple clasp. Very nice. I like it. What do you think? Okay, as I suspected, there was a case in the other box. I don't know if there's a watch in it. We'll find out. Let's take a look. Okay, so you have to pull down on this. Oh, and then it releases nicely. Ah, it's nice and secure. Love it. Put it down. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, there is. Ooh. Ooh, check that out. Oh, yeah. Well, this one's minty fresh, case fresh, sticker and everything. Well, let's peel that sticker off. Ready? Three, two, one. You hear the snowmobile going behind me? Does that say you live in Canada or what? And this is a Canadian brand. I got snowmobiles going down my street. Oh, that's really nice. So here you have, it's either black or very, very, very dark blue. I think it's dark blue, dark, dark navy with the light blue for the Swiss movement and on the Rehote. And then you have a, Red seconds hand. The 
bezel's matte, which is really cool. Oh, yeah. And yeah, that's killer. I like it. When you hit the light on it, you really get to appreciate it. It almost looks like there's a fingerprint at certain angles in the center of the dial. So, so cool. All right. Well, I'm not going to peel all the stickers on this one today, but I am very much looking forward to taking a closer look at both of these. I think they're going to fit amazing on my eight inch wrist. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave you with a wrist shot. Thanks for watching and a huge thanks to Whitby Watch Co for sending this in. Love that company. Have a great day, everyone.